New at 10, a crime crackdown is coming to Houston's Midtown neighborhood after two shootings in one week. And the promise came from Chief Troy Finner just 24 hours after a man died in a shooting at a gas station. KPRC2's Bryce Newberry helps explain the initiative. We saw officers stepping up patrols around that gas station tonight in the hours after Chief Finner made that announcement, what he calls an order of business. And for the people running that business, this comes after months of frustration, a loss of customers, and terrifying times. This gas station at Fannin and Gray in Midtown is boarded up one day after bullets blasted through windows on both sides. Surveillance cameras caught the fight between customers that ended in a fatal shooting. It really gets worse when it's dark. Anas Mohammed has worked the night shift here for the last five months. Every single day, every single hour, I say every single 10 minutes. That's how often he says he's working in fear, sometimes even ending up in altercations with customers. They be having guns, drugs, every single thing. They be having backpacks and they be dealing inside the gas station even if we ask them to leave. As shards of glass still litter the pavement outside, Police Chief Troy Finner is promising more officers in the area. We're not going to stand by in our city and let people take over. Hours after the announcement, police units patrolled the block, keeping loiterers on the move. This is not going to just last for, for a few days. Um, this is going to be an order of business around here, and you will see uh, uh, MARG units. But there will be undercover uh, units here as well. It's welcome news for the Midtown Super Neighborhood Association. The key word is sustained attention. For people to see Midtown as a place to live, work, and play, they have to feel safe first and foremost. The suspect in yesterday's fatal shooting is still on the run tonight, and all of this comes as a brand new UH poll reveals that crime is the number one issue for Houstonians who plan to vote this November. Reporting downtown.